All right, today we're going to be testing the uh, 260 Remington and the new Hornady ELDX. We're going to test the penetration of the ELDX and saturated foam book. We're going to compare the ELDX to the 143 grain 6.5 millimeter bullet uh, against the Hornady interlock, Remington uh, core lock, and the uh, Nosler uh, Acubon, and the uh, <coughs> SST and 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, we just fired the 143 grain 6.5 millimeter uh, ELDX. We just measured it. We got 10 and a half inches of penetration in the saturated foam books. And uh, we're just recovering the bullet right now. All right, we just found the ELDX bullet in here. We're trying to extract it. Well, there's the uh, lead tip. It actually stayed on the bullet. It just came off in my hand. And we'll weigh these later so we have a feel for... And that bullet came off just like that, so... The core stayed, in t the base stayed intact. And it actually penetrated all the way through like this. And then a little bit of a separation at the end. But you can see the base well, the bullet is still intact and was penetrating. So we'll give you uh, bullet weights later and measure all the uh, retained weights. Now we're testing the 130 grain Nosler Acubon 20 feet saturated foam book out of the 260 Remington. Hornady 140 grain SST out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, we're going to test the uh, 129 grain Hornady interlock. Here's the 140 grain Remington core lock. Here's the results of shooting the 260 Remington and the 6.5 Creedmoor into wet, tightly compacted phone books at 20 feet. The study is designed to uh, give the bullets every opportunity to fail and. Uh, uh, wet foam books uh, uh, do do just that. They're devastating on bullets. The Acubon uh, penetrated the farthest, 13 inches. Uh, the uh, SST did real well. It uh, retained 65% of its weight and penetrated 12 inches. This is how we found the bullet in the foam books, but the uh, core and cup actually separated, but we found them together in the phone book. And then the ELDX that didn't penetrate as well and it, uh, it, it came apart, but still 10 inches is pretty good at 20 feet into a, a devastating medium like wet phone books. We actually found the ELDX tip all the other tips were gone, man, just gone, vaporized. The LDX tip, uh, at least the point of it, the very tip of the bullet, uh, survived. Amazingly tough, as advertised.